Hello everybody, XP Gamer here, and welcome back to another Perler video of all things. Now, as you can see with the increasing amount of stuff on this wall, and if I showed you out there, like beyond my little recording studio, well, I record Let's Plays up there, as you may or may not know, but uh, this is where I record like most of my videos like this that aren't Let's Plays. Well, if I showed you the camera out there, I would have even more uh, Perler creations. But I just haven't been recording them as I haven't had a really good way to do so. Because as I've been making larger and larger Perlers, um, the last one I made was almost as big as this fox behind me, which is 8,000 beads. Um, it's been increasingly harder to multitask, like talking to people because like, there's always stuff that I want to do on my phone, like keeping track of videos, um, just my friends talking to me, listening to music whilst doing it so I don't go insane. And with my desk being like completely covered, I'd have to move Amiibo and stuff. But it's just been increasingly more and more difficult. But I think I might have a good way to record um, Polar Projects now. But today, we will be making... A uh, link from a link between worlds to add to this Zelda wall as you can see we have the three masks mine is Zora because I screwed that up uh, the master sword which is my second most viewed video on this channel I have this little health bar up here the four divine beasts and then four swords links so this wall right here in specific is all Zelda stuff and so far I have uh, from breath of the wild is in like the Divine Beast and the Rusted Master Sword. Um, I'm just calling this the original Zelda. I don't think that's actually the health bar from the original Zelda. It looks more like Minish Cap. And games like that, maybe Link to the Past, um, Majora's Mask, and Four Swords. So today I thought, why not add um, from the game? Because I want to have something in here from all games. Why not add something from A Link Between Worlds? Because I recent, just very recently got into that game. And I've been loving it so far. So I'm going to make uh, Link as he is, like the artwork of Link, when he's in a wall. And then if I can find enough black perler beads, I'm really running low on perler beads. I have enough to do him, most likely, because he's going to be like three boards tall, I'm pretty sure. But if we have enough black perler beads, I will make, I will also make a really small uh, Triforce, like the gold Triforce, and then inverse the black Triforce on the bottom. So without further ado, I've already wasted like two and a half minutes. Let's get to it. I'm back. He is all flattened out, ironed. Here is one side. There is the other. Uh, okay, that is pretty poorly ironed on that side, but I mean, it's sticking together. So that's good enough. Um, I have it at this angle because, well, right now we are going to be putting him on my Zelda wall first off. Just one last 
looks horizontally this time. Alrighty. And final step to this video. Also, yeah, I'm in a different outfit because uh, new day, I forgot all about this thing last night. I was watching a streamer and just completely forgot. But um, I'm back now after my first day of cross country and dang, it's tough. I'm tired, so I wanna get this done quick. Where are my scissors? There you are. Yeah. All right, so I have these little uh, Velcro strips, which normally you do, you take two of them, put them together like that. But uh, they hold like three, I think these ones actually hold at least five pounds and well, that thing's not five pounds. So what I like to do to uh, not have to buy as many, I cut them in half. Okay, so now what we are going to do, we're gonna put one on the top of him, the uh, side that the white stuff was on. As you can see, it's kind of shiny. It's really, uh, really sticky. So we're gonna stick that on the top of his head and we're gonna take the other one, as you can see, just peel it right off. Put that one on the bottom of him. And now what we're gonna do is take the other side and just Velcro it on there. Nice and simple. Then peel it off. You wanna make sure to uh, peel this stuff off of the second piece after you Velcro it to the other one because if you peel it off before, then you're gonna have to be pushing on the sticky part to uh, make sure it's stuck on there. And we don't want that. We don't wanna wear out the stick. Okay, so as you can see, we have these two black things, one's right there, one's right there. We're going to take those and I already decided I want him right about here. So bam, bam, just push down on those a bit and newest addition to the wall of Zelda. I'll do this a bit so you can see the whole wall you can see the four divine beasts, uh, the four swords links. You got a got a uh, health bar up there. You got the three masks minus the Zora, which I screwed up. Now you have Fisher Link or whatever you call him, and the rusted master sword. So, with that, thank you guys for watching yet another Perler video. I hope to bring you more sooner on. I should probably fix that. That's a lot better. Okay. So I hope to see you guys next time with another Perler Bead video. Uh, like always, let me know what you want in the comments below. I might just do it. If not, um, I'll just do whatever I feel like. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.